that the reason I'm here is I dreamed big dreams. I dreamed the kind of dreams that other people said would not be possible. I'm also living proof. This isn't a Hollywood movie. I come literally from the other side of the tracks. If you saw where I grew up and we took a picture of it, the neighborhood, the setting, you'd say it's not, it's impossible that someone could come from there and get here. But it is possible. And not to sound too trite, if you dream big and surround yourself with great people and leave your ego at the door and share success with others and have a little luck along the way, you can do anything. But there will be people along the way, and I remember this, who will say to you, you know, you're dreaming too big. It's not possible. Those things just can't happen. Don't allow anyone, friend, family, acquaintance, teachers, whoever it is, don't allow anyone to tell you that what you are dreaming for yourself and your family is not possible. It is possible. Don't be one of those people 20 years from now are going to be walking around in a 9 to 5 job, miserable and angry and bitter because you let your dreams get away from you because you did not believe strongly enough in yourself and what was possible. Don't allow that to happen. And I, I can't encourage you enough to continue to think that things are possible and that your dreams can come true. And as it relates to finding your calling, it has to be linked to something that you are so passionate and crazed about that you're willing to knock down walls and climb mountains and do the things that are going to put yourself in a position of sacrificing so many other things for its success. And you can only do that when there's a compelling underlying feeling that you have that this is something I'm going to fight to the death for. And I think you can't really succeed at the levels that you want to unless you find that thing that you're so passionate, excited, and in love with. And I think because you've got it along the way, you're going to have to convince so many other people to believe in you and the idea and the opportunity and the struggle and the obstacles that are going to come can over, only be overcome by this passion that you have in which you're going to be able to get people to follow you uh, over, the, over those hurdles. I know it sounds a little bit sophomoric, but it's so true. Dream big, and then dream bigger. When you know within yourself that there's something you want to do, and I believe that all of us were born with a purpose, that all of us have something that we are supposed to do, that all of us have some goodness within us, and that goodness gives us a responsibility to manifest our greatness. And when you know that, you can feel it in your guts and you know that you're deliberately operating below your potential. You've gotten comfortable. You stop expanding, you stop stretching, you stop challenging yourself. Let me share something else with you. Not only is it possible for you to have your dream, but it's necessary. It's necessary that you have it, that you work on it, that you develop yourself, that you go for what is yours in the universe. You decide, I'm not going to settle for this. This is not going to be it for my life. I deserve more than this. See, that will start making you do some stuff. See, a lot of people go to work every day miserable, and all they do is just talk about how miserable they are. But they don't do anything about it. You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. It's possible that we can have our dream. Yes, it is. Other people have done it then we can do it. We fail a lot of times. Well, a lot of other folks fail, and eventually they came back and they succeeded. So it's possible we can have what we want. And we know that we want to get it. It's necessary that we align ourselves with people that think like we do. It's necessary we get negative, do-nothing people out of our lives. It's necessary we never stop learning and growing and developing ourselves. It's necessary that we never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. You got a dream, you got to protect it. You 
people can't do something themselves, they want to tell you you can't do it. You want something, go get it. Period. A friend of mine who walks, he runs a marathon, he says, when he's running the 26 mile marathon, he said, let's say that hypothetically, that 18th mile is the wall. He said, Les, when you get there and you're running, he says, everything in you is telling you to stop, to give up. Every muscle is aching. And you're saying to yourself, I can't do it. I can't do it. And you just keep on and you keep on and you keep on. It seems like you're moving at slow motion. And then eventually when you break through that 18 mile wall, then you know it's like done and you're on automatic and you glide on in and you know it's there. You know you're going to get to the finish line. And we've all had experiences where we were working on something and we knew it was possible and we did those things that were necessary to bring it into reality. We took the responsibility to make it happen. Other people couldn't see it. A lot of people didn't believe it. You were attacked. You were criticized. People were opposing you but you kept on doing it. It was hard, it was rough, it was difficult, but to you, it was worth it. And eventually you got to a level you know, can nothing stop me now. I'm on the move. I'm on the move. My hero, that's who I chase. Now when I was 15 years old, I had a very important person in my life come to me and say, who's your hero? And I said, I don't know, I gotta think about that. Give me a couple of weeks. I come back two weeks later, this person comes up and says, who's your hero? I said, I thought about it. You know who it is? I said, it's me in 10 years. So you see, every day, every week, every month, and every year of my life, my hero's always 10 years away. I'm never gonna be my hero. I'm not gonna attain that. I know I'm not. And that's just fine with me because that keeps me with somebody to keep on chasing. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know. That that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream as we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. No one, ladies and gentlemen, could have convinced me when I started out just over six years ago, working on my dream. And I want you to think about whatever your dream is. Because I was willing to take a chance, and most people won't do that. Most of the people that you talk to to try and bring them into the business, these are not risk takers. Most people have done all that they're ever going to do. They raise a family, they earn a living, and then they die. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. And here's what I will share with you. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you could ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. But not only is it important that you believe and begin to know that it's possible for you to live your dream as you run toward it, but it's necessary that you work on yourself, that you develop yourself. It's necessary that you get the energy drainers out of your life, people who don't want anything, people who are not striving, people who are not challenging themselves, people who aren't growing, people who have stopped dreaming. It's necessary that you align yourself with people and attract people into your business who are hungry, people who are unstoppable and unreasonable, people who are refusing to leave life just as it is and who want more. My mother used to say, birds of a feather flock together. If you run around with losers, you will end up a loser. It's necessary that you get the losers out of your life if you want to live your dream.
it's necessary to know that everybody won't see it, that everybody won't join you, that everybody won't have the vision. It's necessary to know that, that a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation, that you are an uncommon breed. You know, you have to know within yourself that I can do this. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. That's necessary. It's also, ladies and gentlemen, necessary that you be creative when you're working on your ideas, that you understand the importance of, of changing up, of readjusting your strategies. Many times we can have a great idea, but if you're not advancing it in the right way and things don't happen, you become discouraged and think the idea doesn't work. No, that's not true. That is you. That is you. That no one can do it for you but you. And even though you face disappointments, even though you will experience some setbacks, it goes with the territory. You must understand that. What if all of us took that attitude after we face a rejection and a no, or we have a meeting and no one shows up, or somebody say, you can count on me, and they don't come through. What if we have that kind of attitude, the cause repossessed, nobody believes in you, you've lost again and again and again, the lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win.